ACT is a company that's focused on regenerative ophthalmology. We have two key programs right now in Stargardt's and uh, AMD, age-related macular degeneration, which is both back of the eye disorders. Both Stargardt's disease, which is an orphan indication, and dry AMD result from the loss of the RPE cells in the eye. These RPE cells are the nerve cells that maintain the health of the photoreceptors, which are the cones and the rods that we see with. So in order to treat these diseases, we go in with new healthy RPE cells that were derived from embryonic stem cells. ACT is one of the originators of cell therapy. It's based on the work of Dr. Robert Lanza, who pioneered a lot of the work that we're conducting here. The kinds of macular degeneration that uh, we've been treating in our clinical trials that uh, include the use of pigment epithelial cells that have been specially created to treat these forms of macular degeneration. The eye is ideal for the first in human application of embryonic stem cells for a number of reasons. One is the eye is immune privileged and thus has an attenuated response to the transplantation of cells that are, are derived using this technology. Secondly, you can put a very small number of these cells into a very localized area and you do not have to expect the cells to do anything more than they naturally do. They're injected beneath uh, the retina in the patients and eventually populate the tissue that's been lost and essentially allow the patient to have new pigment epithelium that will replace the diseased or dead tissue. ACT's uh, conducted uh, several trials, phase one, uh, two trials, for patients who've got forms of macular degeneration that are either inherited such as Stargardt's disease, a juvenile form of macular degeneration, as well as a more common form, which is age-related macular degeneration. Human embryonic stem cells were discovered over three decades ago and are considered a promising source of cells for regenerative medicine. This paper reports the, for the first time evidence of their long-term survival as well as potential efficacy in humans with any disease. Really importantly, the cells themselves have no apparent adverse effect on the patients. In the context of the safety trial, uh, it was uh, essentially beyond our uh, thoughts that we would actually see improvements in visual acuity. However, um, uh, importantly, no patient lost vision, and in some cases, uh, vision uh, was enhanced in a number of the patients. The publication of this data in The Lancet is extremely important for ACT. It's the first time that any company's been able to show extended state safety of cell therapy. Uh, we're a leading company in regenerative ophthalmology and uh, we're just about to start our phase two clinical programs uh, for both of these disorders.